Hi Petals, welcome back to the channel or welcome if you are new here and welcome to your timeless soul alignment session. My name's Aura and on this channel we bring through messages of guidance, messages of support, messages of confirmation, of empowerment and activation for your soul path and your life journey. Thank you so much for tuning in today wherever you are tuning in from and whenever it is that you are tuning into this timeless reading. It's wonderful to be connecting with you today. So the message that I'm bringing through today and that came through was that you have passed the test. You passed the test and you're receiving recognition of a temptation that was pulling you back into an old paradigm, a past timeline regression. But you know better now. And so temptation averted, I'm hearing. You avoided some kind of temptation here that could have pulled you back into an old paradigm, regressing you into a past timeline, maybe a past version of self or a past cycle that could have been tempting you back in. Okay, so this could have been a relationship, it could have been a habit, it could have been a way of thinking, a way of seeing something, something that ultimately wasn't good for you. You've avoided that temptation to go back. I just heard indulge in it. So there could be something that was tempting you to kind of indulge in it, but you know that it's not good for you and you know that you have progressed on from whatever that was. And I'm hearing sunnier times ahead, okay? So it's almost like whatever this was, was kind of like a darkness in the field, like a darkness in the past that could have been pulling you back. And I feel like you've done so much work to pull yourself out of whatever this darkness was for you, this darker energy, right? That just wasn't conducive for your growth, for your expansion of your soul, your purpose, your mission. And you've somehow avoided all of the cracks along your path and being shown someone walking across land and there's various different cracks in the foundation of the floor and you're just kind of like hopping and jumping over them, okay? And so you've managed to avoid them and now you're stepping into pastures new, okay? So there's a new horizon coming through for you. You're walking along this kind of like barren land where there's cracks and maybe at times you were thinking, what am I doing? Where am I going? Should I just turn back? Because I don't know where I'm going. I'm kind of just like blindly following where I'm intuitively being guided to, right? And so there could have been that temptation to turn back. Maybe you thought it might just be easier to turn back because I know the roads from where I came from. They were familiar. I knew how to navigate them better, or at least I knew what I could expect there. But where I'm going now, I feel maybe a little bit lost or maybe a little bit like, am I going in the right direction? But if you just keep walking, you're going to all of a sudden start to see that the barren land and the cracks are starting to transition into grass and flourishing pastures and fields and flowers and trees and then you can see mountains on the horizon and the sun coming up from behind the mountains heading towards pastures new stepping into this new paradigm this new timeline and I'm seeing you smiling and thinking to yourself I'm so glad I didn't turn back I'm so glad I continue to push forward, continue to follow my intuition, even if the signs weren't showing me that it was paying off. I'm glad that I did persist with this. I'm glad that I didn't turn back. I just keep hearing that coming through here. And I'm also hearing clairvoyance upgrade. So your clairvoyance is activating and upgrading. So you're gonna be seeing things a lot more clearly. You're gonna be seeing visions in your mind's eye, maybe when you're meditating or closing your eyes. There's gonna be pictures coming through and I'm seeing a lot of colors coming through, a lot of colors finding you here. So colors are also very significant here. But you can see through the tricks and traps of the lower densities. And so this clairvoyance upgrade, 
has been activated because you've avoided a temptation to step back into those lower densities, those lower energies, right? And you've continued to move forward towards the sun, towards pastures new. And so this clairvoyance is deepening, it's activating more, giving you a higher level of access to see through those tricks and traps of those lower densities that could be, you know, along your path as you continue to move forward, you might see them in your peripheral and might think, yeah, I'm aware that you're there, but I'm not going to pay you any attention. I'm just going to keep moving forward. And it's like the more that you just keep moving forward and you're not paying them any mind, you're not putting up with any nonsense, right? Any kind of energies trying to distract you from your path that you know is right for you, the more they're just kind of going to dissolve and the less you're going to see them. And then before you know it, they're not going to be there at all because you've completely shifted. And so this is a beautiful energy that I'm pulling through here. I'm hearing that you're now up leveling in your Akash. You're now up leveling in your Akash. So there is an up leveling here in your soul experience, I'm hearing. So this is really beautiful energies. You're turning the page and accessing your new chapter. You are on the ascension path. You are on the ascension path. I love this. Beautiful energies coming through here. So the frequencies that I'm pulling through is very much like a spring energy coming through here. I'm seeing eggs. Eggs are very significant and they can symbolize fertility, creation and new beginnings. I'm also seeing tulips. So the flower tulip I'm seeing as well. I'm being shown a golden apple as well. So that could be that temptation coming through here. But you've managed to turn this apple into gold. Wow. And I'm also seeing planets, the cosmos and comets like flying all around. You being able to act access those frequencies and those energies, access the infinite pool of cosmic consciousness. That is a gorgeous message that's coming through. I'm also seeing a shooting star as well, okay? So the shooting star energy came through in a recent pick a card reading that I did. So maybe you watched that reading and this could be double confirmation for you here. I'm hearing double whammy confirmation. And I'm also being shown a snake as well. So that could be the shedding coming through or the snake could be kind of like a metaphor for that kind of like snaky, sneaky energy trying to tempt you into something here especially with the apple symbolism and the snake symbolism. It's kind of like, you know, that biblical story of Adam and Eve coming through here, right? Let's see what else wants to come through in this session today, my loves. I'm excited to dive in and see what other energies are wanting to find us today. Okay, so remember that my readings and messages are for confirmations for what you already know deep within. So please utilize your own discernment when tuning into my sessions and only take what resonates for you and your personal situation and lovingly leave the rest. Never force anything to fit. Okay, so let's dive in here. Let's tap in, let's tap in. Okay, so what wants to come through here? Okay, thank you. I feel like there is an energy of fearlessness coming through. I'm getting like nine of wands energy, like really standing strong. You could have had situations that have been testing your faith, but nothing has been able to break you down. Nothing has been able to break down your spirits. You've really held strong and firm boundaries, I'm feeling, not only with yourself, but with others as well, with energies around you. And that makes a lot of sense because of the temptations. You've had to have strong boundaries. You've had to have a deeper level of fortitude, of courage, to stand up to whatever these temptations were, all the energies trying to distract you or pull you back into the past. I'm seeing like someone sitting on your shoulder and whispering and you've really had to kind of ignore that energy. Okay, so what else do we have here? bottom of the deck here we have the winter energy coming through with a beautiful and powerful wolf take care of your needs 
Wow. Okay, so the wolf is coming through to assist us here in this session today to remind us to take care of our needs. And so this is just doubling down on that message here for you that this is really a time to focus on you. And it's not that you're being guided to be selfish or ignoring other people that might need your assistance or help, but don't allow any distractions to take you off course here. There could be something or a situation or a person that is pulling on your energy. And I feel like they're more capable than maybe they present themselves to be, right? And so there's something that they want you to do for them or there's something that you have. It could be a skill that you have or just an energy that you have in general. And there's something that really wants to get more access to this. And so you are being guided to just pour into yourself and to take care of your needs. With the energy of, of frequency of winter coming through as well, this is the time when we kind of go within, we pull back our energies and we really allow ourselves to introspect and to refocus and to process. So there's a lot of those energies that are coming through here. You could be seeing a lot of wolves at this time or wolves may be something that is coming across your path in the future. But there is an energy of leadership coming through. I'm hearing take leadership, take authority, okay? So you're taking authority in some area on some level, you're taking back your power, you're stepping up and being shown someone placing a crown on your head. So there's a higher level of authority finding you here. So let's see what wants to come through here in these energies. We have the shield maiden, make plans and focus. And we have the white witch, be a light. Yes, I love this. As we said, you know, you've really been setting those boundaries with the shield maiden here. You've really been standing your ground. You've not been dealing with any nonsense, anyone's BS, anyone's drama. I really feel like that. You've really been detaching yourself from any drama, anything that is just not conducive for your growth, is not conducive for what you want to see in your future, for who you want to be. And so I feel like you've really been releasing that and you've been turning your gaze inwards and really reflecting on what do I want? Where do I see myself in 12 months time? Where do I see myself in the future? If I could change something right now in my situation or in my life, what would it be? And how can I make these changes? How can I get myself to where I want to be? And you've really been focusing on that. You could have been making plans for the future. You could have been making plans, I'm hearing, on a business, on a, on a venture coming through here. And I feel like your throat chakra is also very significant. So I could have some speakers here, some mentors. You're just supposed to use your voice in some way, I feel. And this could also be speaking up for what is right, speaking up with those boundaries, saying no when you need to say no, okay? Not feeling like you have to say yes to everything that you don't want to say yes to. And so that's something that many of us can struggle with. And I feel like that's something that you've really been working on and you've really been setting those energetic boundaries and literal boundaries as well and with this white witch energy be the light this is what we were saying you know that shadow energy that darker energy from those lower densities that was kind of pulling you back or trying to pull you back into those past paradigms so that you could regress in your timelines but you chose to be the light you chose to maintain your light, to maintain your high frequency and to continue along that ascension path that we were pulling through earlier on in this session. Owls could also be significant here for you and I feel like this is a symbolism here, a double confirmation of that clairvoyance upgrade that we talked about as well, right? You're seeing through something a lot more clearly and we can see that this owl here has dark eyes. And when the owls have dark eyes, that means that they are nocturnal. They can see in the dark. And so there's something about you being able to see in the dark by seeing through illusions, by seeing through veils, by seeing through untruths, okay? That's a strong energy here that has been activating within you. 
you could have been working with manifestation, spell work, alchemy, for the highest good of all, for the highest good of the earth, working with herbs, working with plants, nature, trees, elementals, I'm getting fey energy coming through here, I'm seeing someone with potions and tinctures and like the natural way of being, you could be someone who's drawn to using natural products, that's also an energy that I'm pulling through here, so let's see what else wants to come through we have the shaman, my gosh, trust in higher forces, wow, we've got another owl coming through again here, and we have arrow, surround yourself with protective energy, yeah, oh my gosh, you've got a lot of protection coming through for you here, this is massive, this is powerful, this is profound, and so I feel like on your path moving forward, really working with energy protection and co-creating with the higher forces to place this protective energy, this bubble around you here, because I feel like you're activating a very powerful mission here, and I do feel like there could be along your path, as we said, those lower densities which are trying to distract you, trying to pull you off path here, and this is why you've got such strong, powerful energy coming through from within you here. You're very much connected to shamanism, shamanistic practices coming through here, definitely connected to shamans in some way as a soul and shamanistic drumming shaman drumming and music i'm hearing bells are going to be very significant for you here like music is going to be incredibly shifting for you incredibly cleansing for you clearing away those lower energies through music through frequency so with this powerful owl coming through here again this kind of looks to be like the same owl or very similar owl here okay so Yes, you do have a lot of protection coming through for you, but also trust in your own intuition as well. You know, this clairvoyance upgrade that is coming through here, your intuition is up leveling to such a high degree, to such a high capacity here. So continue to trust in that. You are being guided. You've got a lot of higher forces working with you here, a lot of higher dimensional beings assisting you, helping you, helping you to avoid those cracks along your path, helping you to see those tricks, those temptations that could be pulling you back into a past paradigm, okay? So make sure that you're listening to your guidance here. There is something that you're focusing on as well. There's something that you're aiming your arrow towards. And this could very well be these plans that you've been working on recently or right now. You've got laser focus. You've got a considered focus. You've got an intention. And I feel like whatever you put your focus to, whatever you set your intentions upon, you're able to hit it dead on. You're able to achieve it, okay? So continue to move forward, straight forward, just like this arrow, avoiding any distractions around you, avoiding anything trying to pull you back into maybe past habits or temptations or versions of self. You're not going back there. Yes, things from the past can sometimes feel comfortable because they're familiar. It's that energy of nostalgia that can sometimes pull us back into the past okay but continue to face forward and don't allow any of this to set you off course and take you off your path here okay know that you are guided okay even if things are feeling dark at some points because i'm seeing along your journey there may be some caves that you're having to walk through that you're having to navigate through but even if those caves feel dark, it's just an illusion. You're still very much of the light, okay? You're still very connected to the light. So stay in those high frequencies, okay? You're on the ascension path here. Things are shifting through and clearing, I'm hearing. So can we please pull through some supportive energies here? What are some supportive energies? We have the nine of wands, nine of wands energy coming through. I love this. Yeah, nine of wands finding you here. And we have the hanged man. Wow, my gosh, this is that introspection coming through. Trust in those pauses as well, because there's a lot of enlightenment here that is finding you. On the bottom of the deck, we've got the Wheel of Fortune, another major arcana coming through here, letting you know that there is a shift up ahead here. 
this determination that you've been putting in with the nine of wands, this persistence, these energies of things testing your faith, sitting right underneath the shield maiden here, this isn't going to be forever, okay? You may feel like you're stuck in this energy right now, but this is going to be clearing. This is going to be shifting with this wheel of fortune energy. The wheel of fortune can talk about a shift, a change in situation, okay? It can talk about luck and destiny, opportunities. And I feel like there's an opportunity coming through for you here that is going to shift something for you. It's going to unstick you from something here. But in this pause of this hanged man energy, in this energy of potentially feeling restricted or tied down, there's something that you're actually recognizing. There's something that you're actually realizing. There's a realization coming through for you. And, you know, the hanged man can also talk about breaking old patterns. And this is what we were saying, you know, temptations from the past pulling you back in, but you've not been rocked by this. You've not been affected by this, right? You've continued to hold your energy, to hold your frequency, to stay on track, to not be pulled back into those lower energies, those lower densities, crisis averted I'm hearing now, not just temptation averted, but crisis averted. You've really avoided something huge here. This is powerful. And this is a reminder to continue to do this, right? Because you're going to avoid something major here, okay? So stay on track and stay integral to your own energy. You really are letting something go here. There's a metamorphosis coming through with this hanged man energy. Oh, yeah, I was being told, look underneath the wheel of fortune. Look what we have here. I could feel it coming through the devil energy. Yes. Oh, my gosh. This is making so much sense here. Chili peppers or chilies could be significant. Underneath that, we've got the lovers. So this could be a connection potentially. But I feel like you're remaining connected with your higher self here. Okay, and the lovers, this could also pertain to a past version of self, maybe what you could have done in the past that wasn't conducive or healthy for you, right? But you're choosing to connect with your higher self now. And this is, you know, eradicating this devil energy that is just sneakily, peskily, like hiding in the background there, okay? So there's a shift coming through for this, okay? So continue to burn through these energies. I got a lot of fire energy coming through here. Sunflowers could also be very significant here. And it's interesting because this nine of wands, I've just looked and it says the poison fire coral. So the poison fire coral. So yeah, you're kind of like letting go of anything that was kind of poisoning the energies around you with this with this devil energy here anything that was poisoning the energies you're letting go of you're releasing you're shifting away from okay so well done for doing this work i really want to say this because i feel like this has been very difficult this has been very heavy dense work things that you've been shifting through here but remember you are the light and you can break through this with your lights okay that that lower energy cannot pierce through your lights it cannot break through that okay so maintain that energy remember turn the page because you're accessing that new chapter you're now up leveling in your akash and you are on the ascension path you can see through those tricks and traps of the lower densities with that devil energy right this devil energy it has no part to play in this anymore i'm hearing like you're eradicating this energy because you can see straight through it with that clairvoyance activation, that clairvoyance upgrade, the two owls coming through here, the higher forces that are assisting you with eradicating, dissolving this energy. And that's exactly what you've done. And that's exactly what you will continue to do. This energy could have been manifesting and affecting you in low self-esteem, maybe not believing in yourself, maybe feeling like you're not worthy or you're not deserving of anything, okay? So I want to say, release any judgments that you may have upon yourself. Release them, let them go, because you are 
perfect in the eyes of the divine okay so you know release any judgments on yourself i really feel like i need to say that okay anything else that wants to come through here we have purpose i know what i am here to do yeah this is a part of your purpose my gosh and we have regrets i know that i cannot change the past exactly i love how this is unfolding here you know this past energy that we've been talking about through this whole reading something pulling you back or trying to pull you back to the past there could be a regret and that could be where that judgment energy that i was just pulling through like judging yourself you know, beating yourself up about something. Maybe you have regrets on something that you did in the past or maybe something you said or something that you didn't do, something that you didn't say. However, this regret is manifesting for you. It's going to be different for each and every one of you. But releasing this, letting this go with this hanged man energy is going to be so metamorphosizing for you. It's going to be so shifting for you here. And it's going to really help you to truly focus on your purpose, to focus on why you are here, okay? You're here to align with those higher forces. And when we're here to align with those higher forces, along our path, we can sometimes come into contact with the opposite of that, with those denser energies. And it's also that we can transform into who we're here to become. So don't worry about what you did in the past or who you were in the past. What matters right now is what you're doing now and what you're moving towards, okay? So don't hold anything against yourself here, okay? I know what I am here to do. Drop that in the comment section. I know what I am here to do. Claim it today. I know what I'm here to do. And I feel like even if you don't, declaring this, setting this intention is going to bring this clarity towards you. It's going to open that door to give you access, that deeper level of understanding here. We do have fear on the bottom of the deck. And this could be that devil energy coming through as well, you know, regret and fear. You're not alone. You've got so much support in the higher realms, in higher forces. And so many soul family members to connect with here on earth. I just cut the deck to freedom. My gosh, you're breaking free. You're breaking free. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness, my own destiny. You are not bound by anything from your past. You can create your own destiny. And I feel like that's exactly what you are doing. You're choosing to take back your power and you are choosing you, full stop, point blank, period. You're choosing you, okay? You're choosing to choose you, okay? What other messages want to come through here that could be helpful? What are the messages and guidance, please? We have the ever unfolding rose cracked open. It's happening for you, not to you. Yeah. And I feel like this is a major perspective shift that you have had or that you're having right now. Um, that whatever has been occurring or has happened maybe in the past, it's happened to shift you into who you're meant to awaken to be, okay? So a huge awakening energy coming through here. It's happening for me, not to me. And I feel like that declaration is going to be incredibly shifting for you. You're going to be unfurling here like this beautiful rose, all of the petals unfolding, where you can smell that sweetness of the rose, that beautiful floral essence. I feel like you're revealing your true essences here, petal by petal, you're unfolding here, okay? So allow yourself to unfold, allow yourself to be seen, release any regrets from the past, release any old versions of self, Bottom of the deck, look, we have unbound, releasing soul patterns, contracts and past lives. You're being unbound, you're unbinding yourself from anything that was restricting you with that devil energy and with the hanged man energy. So keep going, okay? Underneath that, the pillar of light, your vibration is rising. You are the oracle. Exactly, I love this. Powerful energies coming through here. 
deep replenishment, retreat, rest and be held. That's this winter energy. That's the message from the wolf coming through here. As we said, you are on the ascension path, turning the page and accessing your new chapter. You are now up leveling in your Akash. Your vibration is rising. You are the oracle clairvoyance upgrade coming through here for you. I love this. Gorgeous. So you're releasing things that were keeping you stuck, keeping you bound, soul patterns, contracts, past life energy. You're letting it go. And this is helping you to unfold on a deeper level, releasing more and more of your truest, most potent essence. Wow. Gorgeous energies coming through. Let's finish off here with an Ascended Master. I really feel the Ascended Master is coming through here to assist you. Let's see which Ascended Master is wanting to assist you here. Which Ascended Master wishes to come through to assist in these energies? What is your message? Oh, wow. We have Quan Yin. Wow, this is beautiful. Care and compassion. Choose to be love. Do what is right for everyone involved and offer a helping hand. Gorgeous energy. So Quan Yin is a beautiful, soft, loving energy here, purifying energy, full of kindness and compassion. And I feel like Quan Yin is coming through to remind you to have this level of kindness, care and compassion for yourself. I feel like you're being too hard on yourself in some areas of your life, maybe looking back into the past and if you're finding this moving forward at any point after this session as well, you know, maybe looking back and regretting certain things, wishing something was different, have compassion with yourself. Quan Yin is going to help you to do that, okay? Quan Yin is going to help you to choose love. So in those moments where it's difficult to share your love and your high frequency because you might be tired, you might be burnt out, you might be drained, Bring through the energy of Quan Yin, okay, to help you to access that purity that is within your heart here. She really wishes to assist you and help you. And on the bottom of the deck, we have El Moya coming through as well, awakening presence. The universe is with you. Wear a cloak of protection and love. I love this. Gorgeous confirmation here that you are being assisted by the higher forces by the universe. The universe is with you, supporting you. I'm hearing the universe is within you. So continue to wear that cloak of protection. Surround yourself with protective energy and move forward from your heart space, that beautiful essence of love that is so deep within you here. You've got so much support in the spirit world, in the energetic world. And so don't forget to keep asking for it. Whenever you feel like you need that extra level of protection, ask for it. You are worthy and you are deserving. So powerful messages coming through here today, my loves. I truly hope that you found helpful guidance, support, confirmations, empowerment, and any activations that you're needing here today for your soul path and life journey as you traverse forward. Thank you so much for joining us. It's been amazing to connect with you in this space. So let's see what we should do here today. I feel like drop a fire flame emoji, drop a sword emoji, drop an owl emoji, drop a lotus flower emoji or a rose emoji in the comment section if this has been your reading today. If you've resonated with this reading or if you would like to claim any of this beautiful being the light trusting in higher forces, surrounding yourself with protective energy, releasing restrictions and bindings to the past, metamorphosizing your frequency, turning the page and accessing your new chapter, aligning with your purpose energy here today. And please feel welcome to drop in the comments how this reading has resonated for you. I always love to read your comments and see how these sessions unfold for you and the activations that come through for you and anything you would like to share about your soul path. It's so amazing to connect with you and hear your empowering 
positive, uplifting and inspirational stories. Thank you so much for all of your energy exchanges via your likes, your comments, your subscribes and your super thanks donations as well. Thank you so much for your generosity. Your support and love is so valued and deeply, deeply appreciated. If you would like to dive into a personally calibrated reading with myself, you can find my website in the description box where you'll be able to see all of the services that I currently offer, as well as any limited edition special readings and book with me directly there. But please note that if my reading says sold out, that just means that I'm currently temporarily at full capacity. So please navigate to the top of my website where you'll see a little banner at the header of my page. And I'll pop in there a little update of when I next expect to open new readings and new availability. Thank you so much for your patience and for your understanding. And if you would like to dive into some more guidance, some more support, empowerment and activations for your journey, don't forget to check out my channel. I've created some playlists with pick a card readings and also more collective soul alignment sessions just like this one. And all my readings and messages are timeless. So please feel welcome to have a little browse and to tune into whatever speaks to your intuition. And if you've enjoyed this reading today, if you like my vibe, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon because that will let you know when I tune in and drop new readings and messages for you. And the algorithm is always shifting and changing. So if this is the first time that you've stumbled across this channel or come across this reading or my energy, we may never cross paths again and I may never show up on your feed again. So if I resonate for you, if you've enjoyed this session, please feel welcome to subscribe. We would love to have you join us in this beautiful blossoming and blooming community. And with all this being said, my love, thank you so much for tuning in today. It's as always amazing and a blessing to be connecting with you. I'm wishing you all the best and sending you lots of love. Take care. Bye.